Hi there, I'm Laura Tillinghast, and this video will cover how to take a portrait that's rather flat and make it look great using Luminar. First, we'll look at basic adjustments like exposure, contrast, and color balance. Then we'll talk about how to fix flat lighting conditions. There are quite a few tools we can use within Luminar to make a portrait more dynamic and more inviting overall. The first elements to look at when retouching a portrait are exposure, contrast, and color. Now I like to start using the Add Filters button with the Accent AI filter. Now what this does is uses the software's artificial intelligence to give the image an overall boost and as you drag the slider to the right you'll especially see this in terms of the things we just mentioned, uh, contrast, color, and exposure. Now I then like to go back to Add Filters, choose Develop, and from there I can fine-tune my image and uh, adjust it a little more carefully. So the exposure is a little bright, I'm going to bring it down a bit. Now the color temperature also is a little cool, so I'm going to warm that up just a little. Now the field is looking more like uh, bright flowers and her skin tones are looking closer to real life. Now the highlights I want to bring up a little. And I want to brighten the overall image using the white slider. For images captured with natural light, like this one was, there's often a cool tone or color cast due to the cool temperature of sunlight. I like to compensate for that with the Brilliance and Warmth filter. So adding this filter really helps me to add back in the warmth of the skin tone and make the whole shot look a lot more natural. So I'm going to slide the warmth slider to the right, just until it looks like the skin tones are more true to life and the overall shot is more inviting. Now the vividness slider really affects saturation, so I don't want to go too far with that or it looks unnatural. Generally something between 5 and 10 is the sweet spot. After we've made these changes, the image is looking a lot better, but it still has that flat look due to the overcast weather when the image was taken. For flat looking portraits, one of my favorite techniques to use is the Luminar Sun Rays filter. It adds a lot more depth and dimension in just one easy step. To add the sun rays effect, I'm going to come up to layers and I'm going to click to add a new adjustment layer. That way I can keep the sun rays effect separate from here where I have all of the filters for basic adjustments loaded. So I'm going to click add filters, choose sun rays, and the first thing that's going to happen is the sun rays are going to be added to the top left corner. So I'm going to choose place sun center, and then I can drag the sunshine up into the corner where I want it to be coming from in the image, and in this case I like it to be behind my subject spilling into the frame. Then from there I can come over to XY and I can further dial in where this is and use these points to actually drag the sun uh, off the page, which can make it look a little bit more believable. When I'm done I click Place Sun Center, and then I can come down here and I can change the look of these sun rays, I can lengthen them, and I definitely want to use this warmth slider to warm them up to match the overall look uh, that we have already done by warming the image with the Brilliance and Warmth filter. Then I also come over to Number and I reduce that so that instead of uh, sun rays, separate sun rays coming in, it's going to be just one big wash of light. Then I use the penetration slider to decide how strong do I want this effect to be. I'm going to dial it in pretty strong so that I can uh, come up here and reduce the overall opacity as much as needed to really make it look uh, more believable. Now what's great about keeping this separate is I can then go back to my first layer and if I need to I can increase the boost from our uh, Accent AI filter, I can raise our highlights up a little more, increase contrast, and then I can go back and look at it all put together to see our final effect with the sun rays filter. Now coming over here we can click this eye icon off and on to see how far we've brought this image from where it started as a flat photo to where it is now. Now to further sell this sun drenched look I'm going to add a reverse vignette and to control the opacity completely I'm going to do this by adding an adjustment layer like we did with our sun rays filter. So here I'm going to click to add a filter I'm going to choose vignette but instead of the normal way uh, that a vignette is added, and generally most, most of the time you see it as a uh, dark border around the image drawing the focus inward to the subject, we're going to go the other direction and we're going to put a white border around the image which sells that lens flare look a little bit more, making it look like sunlight is spilling into the frame. Then we can use this inner light slider to brighten the middle 
and give a better, punchier look overall. And turning that vignette off and on, we can see how strong it is and whether we need to adjust it anymore. Now that I'm happy with my edits, I'm ready to save my final file. But before I do that, I always ask myself, are there other images in this photo set that these edits would apply to? And if there are, then I go down here and I click to save a filters preset. So what this does is save a custom preset that I can use later for other photos. And I usually name it after the type of effect I created so that I'll remember uh, what it'll do to an image. Now once I've saved that, I can load the preset catalog here and then clicking under categories, I've got my user presets and there it is sunburst top left. So I can use it on future photos from this uh, photo session, or I can also apply it to other images in the future that would need a sunburst in the top left to make them more dynamic. Now, when I'm ready to save my final file, I always save it in the Luminar native file format. This way I have the whole history of every edit I made preserved each time I open the file. And that way I can go in and make creative changes as needed. And this saves me a lot of time and I can always refer back to it as a reference. I really love the control that Luminar offers and how quickly I can use the program to create my final portraits.